Well, for those of you that uh, are wondering or have been wondering, as I have myself sometimes, um, what's inside these QSC HPR speakers um, that makes them sound so good? Um, we just recently picked up a pair of the 12-inch um, the uh, two-way powered cabinets on Craigslist and uh, going to take them apart and thought we'd do just a quick video on what's inside these things and the drivers and the construction of the cabinet. So um, as QSC would uh, kind of say in their videos, we're going to see what the HPR is going so to the bring. the first thing we're going to do is um, come up to the cabinet and uh, take out uh, all of the uh, Phillips head screws around the grill so we can get to the speakers and uh, we'll go from there. This last screw down here at the bottom is this. And go ahead and put Mr. Paquita up there. Grill. Done everything right. Should just kind of pop off. But it's not. Okay, had to coax it a little. It's got a little bit of um, foam around the edges that it kind of stuck. So um, now we've got the grill off. It's um, very, uh, I think it's 16 gauge, but um, really good construction. That, uh, we've had a couple of mishaps and uh, dented the grills a little bit, but we've also found uh, some of these uh, wrinkle paint that they use, uh, something close to it in the satin, and have been able to um, repaint the grills. Um, you can get that at, uh, here in California at Orchard Supply um, Hardware or us, the first thing we're going to do is blow some of the dust out of this cabinet. I'm not sure where they were when we picked them up. This will get them cleaned up a little bit. One of the things that um, we don't want to do is we want to be very careful with the uh, compression driver and not get a lot of air pressure around the conical horn on there. Just enough to get all the um, the dust off of it. So now what we're going to do is um, go in and take the four screws out holding the uh, conical horn in. As you can see we've zoomed in a little bit on this so that um, as we're pulling the screws out. These are um, threaded, um, probably, I don't know, maybe 1032. And they have inserts um, in them so that uh, if you have to take the horn in and out to replace the driver and if you uh, blew them. It's a little stubborn. It looks like it's a little insert just fell out. We've had that happen a couple of times on these cabinets. And um, can be a little bit of a pain um, to deal with. And we just kind of pull the thing and get the hand back in there and insert did get kind of hung up on the, um, the foam inside there so I'm gonna shut the video recorder off while I do this and I'll be We're right still back. working on it had to bring in some reinforcements. Okay we did get it out and um, you can kind of see what this may be here I don't know if this camera is gonna focus on it or not I wish it would there we go but it's a, um, a little threaded insert that they put on those so that if you have to take the uh, the horn in and out um, that you can do so um, many times um, if needed without uh, stripping out wood screws. Pretty cool. So we're going to zoom in here a little bit and uh, take a look at this. And as you can see it's a um, Celestian driver and a uh, soft dome kind of tweeter and a conical horn. The conical horn, we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit, is um, kind of made out of a, um, I don't know, almost like a rubberized plastic um, that this unit uses and then they've got the um, push-on fingers. But as you can see um, on the back of it here as we zoom back in, it is Celestion. So, and they do use this um, particular manufacturer throughout all of their speakers because we have had 
the 15s, the three-way 15s, and the 18-inch subs opened up, and they are all slash drum drivers. And for right now, I've got uh, the cabinet opened. I'm just going to zoom in on the, um, the acoustic damping material that they've got inside these, so you can see that um, up in the top cavity there where the, uh, the conical horn resides. They've got quite a bit of it um, glued in place um, so that the um, low end um, does not bounce around the cabinet and does not uh, uh, agitate the, uh, the back of the um, high frequency horn that is in these cabinets um, as well. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, get some inside shots. This is now coming in and looking at the, uh, the inside of the cabinet um, and the construction. I probably am not going to be able to show you enough, but you can see the, uh, the banding on the, um, the birch plywood and uh, you know, seeing that it's, um, they say 13 ply, whoops, sorry. Um, I'm not going to sit there and count them all and try to figure it out. Um, I know that these cabinets are very well built and um, very heavy as well. Up at the top they do have the, um, the two um, plastic ports uh, for the low end um, on this particular speaker and um, we're not going to take those out but um, those are feel like they're made out of the same plastic as the... Um, you know while we're in here one of the things I want to show is this um, kind of angled cross brace um, inside the cabinet that goes, um, if we zoom back out, it traverses all the way from about down at this point right below the um, the porthole um, where my finger is pointing here and then goes up at an angle um, up into this area here and is secured and then just has a cutout for the um, one of the through bolts for the speaker for the horn um, right there, but um, gives it some additional um, cross stiffening. So now we're just going to go ahead and put the, um, the screws back in to the um, upper driver here and uh, get this thing buttoned back up. And uh, we're going to go ahead at that point then and pull the 12-inch um, the driver. While we're at it, I did decide to go ahead and uh, remove out one of the, um, the ports and uh, zoom in here. And you can see again the construction that it is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably... There's other plies in there that I just can't see, but they show that the bracing and then is going all the way down um, right underneath this port and then is attaching into the side as well as um, into the, uh, the front of the cabinet. On the 12-inch um, driver um, they also have the, uh, the threaded screws. Um, these are Allen nut um, so you'll have to have some Allen wrenches or a, uh, a star bit um, if you're going to use that to take these out. Um, We've got a star bit that seems to fit these because I'm lazy and don't want to go find the Allen wrenches. So anyway, we'll get this pulled and um, we're going to get right this back. last one now. And there goes the speaker. Mr. Grill goes up top. So again, this is a uh, Celestian driver. Um, it looks like it is... Uh, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit here with the, uh, the remote. Yep.